Hello. Hello. I am Janet Raftis, a quantum creatrix, divine feminine channel, and I am here with my beloved friend, Ina Lucas, and um, she'll introduce herself in just a moment, but I am an energy healer, psychic medium, channel of the divine feminine. I have been doing this work for nearly two decades, and I support people in resolving early life, past life, other lifetime trauma uh, distortioned, uh, repressed emotions. <laughs> I help people to bring balance back into their system so that they can remember the power and the love of who they are. And I, um, most often these days get to do that with my dear and beloved friend, Ina. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I am a shamanic channel. I channel a collective called the alchemists. Um, I've been doing DNA activations, um, healing transmissions for um, for 12 years now, and I'm very similar to Janet in uh, in doing deep um, ancestral healing work, inner child healing work, past life healing work, and really both of us um, are are ones who help people remember who, who you really are and awakening the gifts and skills of all lifetimes. And we are co-founders of Kairos, the <laughs> Kairos Healers Academy, which is a year long um, healing school for the, um, for the healing and intuitive arts that starts November 6th. And so we are both called, um, on the path in, in the way of the healer. Yeah. And it has been quite the journey for both of us. Um, a beautiful journey and also a very intense journey. And um, this is something that I, I mean, I had no idea when I started out being a healer, I was like, it's going to be so awesome. I'm going to save the world. Yay. And like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> initiation, 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 shadow work, <laughs> explosion. Yes. Um, yeah. And um, and and this is and this is the way it is. I mean, this is what we see with spiritual awakenings. I mean, we have supported, I mean, hundreds, if not several thousand people between the two of us as they go through the process of spiritually awakening. And it is a an amazing process, and it is a very challenging process. It is a process that really demands, especially for so many of you who are stepping into the roles of healers and intuitives who are going through the awakening process and wanting to use your awakening in service of, of, in your, of yourself and others. And it is, it is, it demands that you go deep and, and, and get to a space of, of really aligned authenticity, which means that anything that doesn't match that, whether it's old trauma or um, a relationship that's not serving or how you interact with your finances, it, it's, it, it has to be dredged up and pulled out. <laughs> and welcome to the dredge zone right now. <laughs> We are in a heightened time of mass earthly awakening and um, and we are being put in a in a pressure cooker right now, really, of this band of um, distortion in the field, which is a band of fear and uh, and anxiety and you can feel it. Um, you know, kind of hovering over us. And right now, like our, our role is to, is to go into the fears that are coming up. And that's really the path of initiation, the path of, you know, as a healer is to, is to look at what's being triggered because it's, it's alive right now. And if you're, a, and so, the most important work we can be doing right now is is really going underneath what is the fear that's being triggered in me what's the deeper wounding that's being triggered in me in in the in the in the 
the, the chaos and the, <laughs> and the narrative, you know, that's very loud right now that wants to, um, wants to make you feel afraid. And when we take our power back, there's nothing for us to fear. And the way that there's nothing for us to fear is by us actually going to the depths of what our real fears are in the body. So that's part of the initiation process as a healer is, is processing this in the body. If we're trying to process from the neck up, we're staying in anxiety and fear right now. And it's looping and it makes you want to leave the planet and it makes you afraid to be here and it makes you paranoid and it makes you get caught up in, in narratives that are not actually true. And so we're in this amazing place right now of coming into our truth and, and coming into what's true for us. And so part of what's being activated right now is the witch wound mm -hmm. and witch wounds are being activated on high. So, so the witch wound is when you're, um, you're afraid of speaking up, you're afraid of speaking your truth for, uh, for fear of being persecuted. And it's, it's very alive right now. Yeah, it's super alive right now. We are seeing it. I mean, I've had, I've been healing my witch wound for a long time. And I have noticed even recently some deeper stuff coming up around it. And a lot of people that I work with have been coming to me with witch wound, um, wanting to, to heal past witch wound. Um, and it's alive because it is the time for all of us to to release these, like I mean, witch wound has been happening over the past several thousand years since the rise of the patriarchy, because the patriarchy needed to silence the powerful healers and seers that we terrified the patriarchy and <laughs> and those of us who are are holding the frequency of the healers and the seers and the oracles the prophets in this lifetime, right? The, um, the witches, essentially, you know, those of us who are holding these, these frequencies, it's being activated because we've been these things in other lifetimes. And those other lifetimes have many gifts to share with us in this lifetime. When we can access that space, we can bring back those gifts from other lifetimes online. We can, we have access to them again. Our soul already knows them. We also have to wade through the witch wound. And so it is a, a big part of what's happening right now is an opportunity for us to heal that and heal the layers of it so that our voices be, can become strong again, so that our solar plexus, solar plexuses can, can feel the strength and power of who we truly are. And so that our third eyes, I mean, if you have a blocked third eye, that is also connected to being persecuted for having the gift of sight. And so these, in order for all of this to come back online, we have to move through this wounding. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we came here to do. Yes. <laughs> so the beautiful thing is that as chaotic as it may seem out there right now, mm -hmm. the more we ground into nature, the more we ground into ourselves, the more we come into community with those who are in their truth, the more we come into the community of love, not giving power, giving our power away to fear and to outside narratives, mm -hmm. the more we're actually ascending and uh, more and more rapidly and, 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 and helping others do the same. So the more that we can stabilize, you know, the more that we can hold the light, the more we allow other people to, to see <laughs> <laughs> through the matrix, you know, to see the deeper parts of what's really going on here. And, um, and the more we get to support each other, you know, like this is one big it's like trauma bonding going on like crazy right now. You know, everybody's wounding is it, un, unhealed uh, childhood traumas are just being exposed and ripped open right now. And on what, you know, there's just all this inner fear, you know, like inside it's like, it's scary to feel like things are out of control. And, and so, so in that fear and powerlessness, you just want to like find something outside of you that you can control and you want to make everything okay. When really the journey is, is inward and downward. 
yeah. into those dark places that feel scared and not even dark. It's the younger, innocent parts of us, mm -hmm. you know, that are just calling us home, you know, calling us home into love. And the more we go there, the easier this ride gets. I mean, like lately, I mean, this past week was off the charts, you know, mm -hmm. like so much, the, the dial being turned up on high. Mm -hmm. And yet, like the more we go into those places, you know, the more you just get get shot through into, into the bliss and into what's really possible when you feel your power coming online. You know, like I've just been having so many moments of like, holy crap, our superpowers are coming online when we're not resisting that which has been disempowering us. Mm. I mean, I just like I get fire through me and just like yeah. so <laughs> information flooding in and so much love flooding through and so much understanding flooding through, so much compassion flooding through and yeah. and and more ability to to hold the space, more ability to uh, to show up in a way that that allows others to have their nervous systems, you know, uh, co-regulated and, and calm down. Yeah. And so there are many of us, there are millions of us, there are millions of us, there are millions of us right now. And there are so many healers that are coming online. And so if you are starting to feel that, like if you're starting to feel called forward, like, um, like, uh, I don't know, I, I, you know, like I want to speak my truth. I'm afraid to speak my truth, but I know that I have skills. I know that I have abilities. Like we need thousands of, we need millions of healers. Right now. We need yeah. millions of healers. Yeah. To help the planet at this time, to help, uh, you know, just all the different levels of, of, of trauma and illness and all of that that's unfolding right now. We need you. If you are feeling called <laughs> forth, if you are feeling all of those healer codes coming alive in you, we want to gather with you. <laughs> we do. We to support you. <laughs> yes. And so we have created an opportunity to do that. And it's a free event. It is a full moon in Aquarius ceremony. And we're going to meet um, virtually. And we're going to have, a, an, a, a, you know, a virtual ceremonial gathering together where we are going to learn about the initiation process of the healer, open up our compassionate healer's hearts. We are going to um, go into the resistance. We're going to talk about working with spirit animals and goddesses and other spiritual beings to support our healing process. We're going to work with some animal medicine. And Ina and I are going to facilitate an activation of healer's codes for you. So we've got some like really juicy stuff going on in there. <laughs> um, and we, we really want to have a place where we can all get together and like, you know, bond and connect and, and create some powerful energetic juju together, right? Some powerful energetic medicine that will support every one of us mm -hmm. uh, as we go through this process, because no matter how long either you've been healing, we are all being summoned. So if you're new to the world of the healer, if you feel this as a new calling that you've been wanting to step into, if you've been doing this for a year, if you've been doing it for 20 years, we are all being asked to level up our, 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 our dedication to this, our, our dedication to self and to our personal integrity as healers, to um, doing even deeper work. And so this is a very powerful moment. There is a, is a moment that is filled with opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And gathering with like-minded peeps right mm -hmm. now, more than ever is what recharges us, is what restores us, is what brings us into our remembrance. It's what brings us into our alchemical fire and our alchemical power yeah. and knowing that this is the lifetime that we chose to yeah. come through to, uh, to, to create, to create that new earth together. And, mm -hmm. and you have to remember you're not alone. So this is a gathering. It's on Sunday. It's 
this Sunday at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. It's it's an hour and a half. It's a totally free full moon ceremony. And Janet and I are going to hold you. And we have hundreds of people that are signing up. So if you want to gather with your fellow witches and shamans and healers <laughs> and planetary shifters and just feel, feel the energy of the group, feel the energy of remembrance, feel the activations of healers codes that are coming online for you. Mm. Janet and I are just going to hold a really potent ceremony, a really potent ceremony mm -hmm. at a time when we need it more than ever. Yeah. Yeah. And we're super excited to do this and to provide this and to connect with all of you. Um, this is a part of what we are here to do and mm -hmm. uh, to be able to do it, to be able to be on this path right now is a blessing and an honor and um, and connecting with all of you is is a blessing and an honor as well. So um, we will drop the link with the details into the comments here. Um, and we very much look forward to if this has spoken to you at all. We invite you with so much love to join us. Yeah. Um, Sam, I'm so excited that you will be with us. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, Phyllis, it will be recorded. So if you can't make it live, you'll have access for a few days following it to partake in it. Um, and it will be, you know, it's great to show up live. And also it will be just as powerful if you watch the recording. And so, you know, either way, and that will be available. Um, it's Janet and I on video. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, will, we will be on video holding, holding ceremony for you guys going deep channeled activations and, um, and a whole lot of love, a whole yeah. lot of love, whole lot of intention on a full moon in, in Aquarius. We're going to release the F out of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and activate the F out of some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> activate your superpowers. <laughs> We're going to bring in Jaguar and Phoenix and Frog and Raven. <laughs> it's yeah. amazing. So we, we, we hope you can make it. And if you have any questions about this, if you're watching this and replay, please drop them into the comments and we will we'll get back to you as soon as we can and we are we hope we see you on sunday yeah <laughs> okay come play come call us the full moon <laughs> your fellow magic makers that's right come make some magic with us all right have all a right. beautiful Love you guys. day bye Thank you. <laughs>